Okay, so today we'll see how to upload an application to the App Store. So first we have an application ready. So first we need to see that everything is set up properly in the application. Uh, the first thing that we would want to see is what is the bundle ID or identifier. So you go to target file, you go to summary, and what you'll see is uh, uh, com.appnazi.indian. Uh, okay, stop writing now. <laughs> Okay, app doesn't run Indian. So we have this. Uh, once we have the app ID, we know what it is. We go to our uh, go to the developer portal. So you go there by saying developer.apple.com. It used to be iPhone, now it's iOS. So if you go there, you'll see this. If you're logged in, it will automatically take you to this page, or else it will ask you to log in. So on the right side, if you're paid, if you paid for this thing, it, on the right side, you'll see iOS provisional portal, iTunes connect, all these different options. So first thing is going and creating your certificates and provisional certificate, provisional port, provisional files for your app. So if you see, uh, you come to home, uh, there is also a tab at the bottom called distribution, which gives you step by step instruction of how to use it. Okay, with screenshots, everything is perfect here. Yeah. Okay, so let's, I'm going to show you what that thing describes. So first you go to certificate. Now there is a certificate for development and a certificate for distribution. Now we are not doing development, we are doing distributing. We are distributing the app to the app store. So we go to the distribution tab. So it says first thing is request a certificate. So this is what you will see in a brand new account. Uh, since I just deleted the old certificate, that's why it's doing this. So if I say request certificate, it will give me some steps of how to do the request certificate thing. So now how do I request certificate? So I go to, it. what it says here is open keychain access uh, so once I open keychain access it will open this I go to keychain access and I say certificate assistant I go to request a certificate from certificate authority and uh, and then I go to uh, go. Th I see the screen it will show me my email address it will show me common name it says CA email address. Uh, I don't need it to be emailed to the CA, so I will just say save to disk. So I don't need to give that email. I continue this and I save the certificate CSR file somewhere. So I'll save it to the desktop. Then you can walk around. Uh, then I can say done. And once I'm done, you'll see the CSR file saved to my desktop. So that is what I need to upload here. So I say choose file. I choose file. I go to my desktop. Where I saved it, select it, it's up there, I say submit. So once I submit, it says pending issuance, but it takes only a second. So I just refresh it and it's there. So I download this and uh, once I download it, it comes here and in my downloads and I can just click on that and it should be good. Is it good? Yeah, I think it should be good. So certificate is done. Now once I have the certificate, now if I want to give it to some other people, like if you guys are working with me in a team and I want to give it to you guys. So what I will do is I'll go to my keychain assistant. I look at my certificates and there are a bunch of them. Let's see which one is this one. This one expires June 7, 2012. So June 7, 2012. Where is that? okay the last one so this is the one that I just created okay so if I if I want to give it to you guys what I'll do is I'll right click on it I'll say export iPhone distribution and it says save a certificate desktop and it should be P2L format so I say okay save it and it asked me ask me for a password which I need to give so I will give a password So now you can use this certificate for, uh, and then it asked me my uh, my keychain certificate, keychain password. So it was nothing. So I just did okay, and now I have have that have that uh, certificate done. Uh, I mean I have that certificate here P two L format. So now I can just email it to you guys, and you can when you open it, it will ask for the ask for the password, and uh, you can enter the password that I entered, and uh, then you can download this certificate so it will match it and you have the certificate there will be always only one certificate per account there can't be multiple account certificates for an account 
so once we are done with certificate next tab that you see is devices if you want to do development and test it on different devices you can enter the UD ID here and test it we're not going to do that uh, app IDs so now you need to create an app ID for every single app there needs to be an app ID let's create for a for our app our app is called locate an Indian restaurant generate new and then you give that uh, give that identifier that you have in your app right here okay so we have already done that so we don't need to create it again I have already created that com dot appnazi dot indian yeah see it's available it's there so I don't need to create it again so it's there so next I need to go to provisioning this provisioning is one for every single app that you create uh, are we doing it for development? No, so we are doing it for distribution. So I click distribution. I already have one. I created it. Creating is same as modify. So when I go to modify, it will show app store. Give it a name. Which one you want? Not this one. We want locate an Indian restaurant. So once I do that, it also automatically takes the certificate that we created. Uh, so submit. And once you submit it, it's there. Since I was deleted the previous certificate, it will say that everything is invalid because you need to create a new provisional now with the new certificate. So you need to remember that if someone removes the certificate, deletes the certificate, you might have to create it again. So once I'm done with that, now it's available. I can just download it. Once I download it, I can just click on it and it will open in my organizer and it will show up here. I have another one which I did before, so I'll just delete that and I'll just keep this one so it's here so we have the provisional profile now I go to uh, the app the project file again and in the build settings I see there's distribution right this is for distribution so over here in distribution not here actually code code signing this is code signing so code signing I don't want it for debug not for release distribution so here I select which one I want so this is com.abnazi.engine so I create that and once I have that file now I go here on top and select iOS device because you are distributing to iOS device you will not select any of the simulators you are not making it for simulator you are making it for device so next I click on edit scheme by default it will always be debug in the start so if I change that to distribution the run run application so now with distribution everything is set everything is good now if I first I need to clean it clean the project so I clean the project when it's cleaning I'll just go to the organizer again and I go to projects and see where the build file is being created so here derived data actually tells you where the build file is been saved so if I click on that here it is 